Mmm. That's stop. Hey guys, I'm really excited because today we're trying gingerbread chai. So this is an oat milk, so it's, what is it called? It's an oat milk iced gingerbread chai, and it's gonna be made with oat milk, the chai, so it's two, four pumps chai, oat milk, um, then ice, and then it's oat milk foam. So it's actually not like sweet cream cold foam, and it doesn't actually, it's not foamy. It like kind of like melts into the drink. It's supposed to just like be like, I don't know, something. So it's not gonna be a foam. It's just gonna kind of like blend into the drink. And that has two pumps of gingerbread in the foam. But I'm excited to try it. I tried the gingerbread syrup yesterday for in a latte. And I'm not gonna, gonna lie. I wasn't really a fan of it in the coffee, which is what they used to advertise it as. But I think this would be really good as a chai. So let's try it. Mmm. That's... Stop. That's so good. I normally don't like oat milk either. I'm always an almond milk person. I don't know why I feel like oats too, like, oaty. But, um, because, like, it's a gingerbread, like, it's almost like the oats, like, the oaty flavor kind of helps it make it, like, taste more like a cookie. Mmm. That's so good. And it's not too overbearingly sweet like the pumpkin cream cold brew. Because I noticed that the syrup is really, like, not that sweet. Because it's not, like, a sauce. The pumpkin sauce is really sweet and sugary. But this is, like, a, just a syrup. It's, like, just two pumps of the syrup in this. And that's really good. That's so good. Guys, you, like, one, like, it's not Christmas yet. Like, there's drinks haven't come out yet. But this is what I'm gonna be getting once it like starts to become like the Starbucks Christmas season or holiday drink season. I don't know, I'm gonna be trying many drinks throughout the next few weeks to film this before. So I think I'm gonna do trying out like new drinks, like new, new drinks like this. And I'm also gonna do some hacks too. Like I think later I'm gonna do a sugar cookie shake and espresso, um, but we'll see. This is another Christmas holiday drink that I'm gonna try. It is a shake and espresso with no classic and then you do four pumps of sugar cookie and then you could do almond milk or you could do regular milk and do vanilla sweet cream cold foam and yeah so let's try it let's mix the bottom a little bit mmm oh i love that i normally like a lot of the christmas drinks so this is really good let's try it with the foam Mm. Oh, that's so good. Both the sugar cookie and gingerbread syrups aren't too sweet, which I love. Because it's more, it's easier to adjust the sweetness. It's not too overpowering and you get more of the flavor. Mmm. That's really good. I'm honestly going to give this, like, a 9 out of 10. Like, I love that. The only thing, though, is that it's really annoying to order. So, let's go over this again. It's a grande shaken espresso with blonde espresso. Um, no classic. And then you're going to sub it for four pumps of sugar cookie and then vanilla soup cream cold foam. There you go. I wouldn't get the all milk substitute because it's expensive. But. Mmm. That's really good. It reminds me of just like a normal, like, kind of like sugar cookie latte, but it's like a little bit better because, like, the shaken espresso is a little bit stronger and it has, like, a better flavor, especially the blonde espresso in it. It's, um, it just works really well. 
Sweet cream cold foam is always a must when you do the sugar cookie because it's like that frosted cookie kind of vibe, which I love. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I think you guys should definitely try it around the holidays. It's the, the last drink of today. Um, I'm literally so tired. That was a long shift on a Saturday, but whatever. So this is a grande iced matcha with four pumps of sugar cookie, or three pumps of sugar cookie and almond milk. or you could do oat milk or whatever. They both kind of taste like a sugar cookie in my opinion because almond milk has like that almondy flavor and then oat milk has that oaty flavor that kind of tastes like flour. So like, let's try it. Mmm. It reminds me of, um, and when you put brown sugar in the oat milk chai. Oh, I like that. I'm sure it'd be, be even better if you do like vanilla sweet cream cold foam or sugar cookie foam. Um, I don't know. This one's kind of a little bit more on like the subtle side, but I actually am gonna give this like an eight out of 10. It's not like amazing, amazing, like, but it's good. I definitely would get it again. It works with the matcha. That's the one thing I was worried about, like the sugar cookie not working on the matcha, but the matcha has this like earthy taste. So it just reminds me like when I made these matcha cookies once, like it just tastes like a cookie with matcha. I like that. Let me try it. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, with if you don't have like a straw for like my matcha drinks, I feel like the matcha just tastes so much different because it's like it's hard to mix it up without a straw. But or like for any drink, like a chai, like I like need a straw. Yeah, it's just kind of like a cookie, like drinking a cookie, <laughs> like a milkshake. I like that a lot. And I love how like the, sh the Christmas syrups aren't too, like aren't too much. I like how they're just subtle and I think like how they don't have too much sweetness to them. So yeah, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. As I'm editing this right now, it's the night before the Christmas launch. I had this whole thing where I'm just like editing it right before the Christmas launch and, or like, the holiday launch. And I found out some new info is that, um, the uh, holiday cups we are featuring apparently like an like an iced cup like you know like the disposable ice cups like the plastic ones but they have like little sparkles on it again I, rem I don't remember if it was like I think it was like 2019 or 2020 we had little cups with little sparkles on them and I really loved them and I was asking I was like are we getting these like clear cups this year with little uh, designs on them and they're like no and then they surprised us and it looks like we were having all these like fun little ice cups this year so you can't see them in the video because um i didn't have access to them since i would film this all during my shifts um but i'll put a picture right here but i think they're really cool and i also love the holiday cups which i'll also put right here they're so cool um and yeah um i really liked all these drinks that i showed today um, and I'll probably do a part two because I only did like sugar cookie and gingerbread, but um, I didn't really get a chance to film any other times. So I'll probably do a part two and yeah.